Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Eric Surf 6. Welcome to Eric Meal Time. And in today's episode, it's going to be Persian food right here. It's called Bol Bol. It's up here on the second floor. Bol Bol is actually the name of a bird. It's the Iranian bird. Mm -hmm. This is Masood here. He's my friend on Instagram. Yeah, he's great voice talent. Yep. Okay, here we are. Welcome to Iran, everybody. The first dish has arrived. We've got hummus here. Look at that. Looking gorgeous with those walnuts on top and the olive. And it's in the olive oil. Oh yeah, love me some hummus. And it comes with this gorgeous naan here. This smells amazing. Oh my goodness. Going in for some hummus. Hummus and walnuts. Oh, this looks fabulous. <laughs> oh, it's good. Let's just try the hummus by itself. The bread's a little on the dry side. Love me some hummus. Mm. It's a nice touch with the walnuts. I like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Next up is the bowl bowl salad. This is the basic salad. It's got the tomatoes, the cucumbers, and onions. Sometimes simple is wonderful. Mm. It's very fresh, crunchy. It's in a lemon sauce, like a lemon juice covering it. It's very pleasant. Mm. Oh, this is very nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, I could eat this all day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Next up is the soup. This is called Subejo. It's a wheat-based soup. It looks really interesting. Let's give it a try, shall we? Very interesting taste. It's got tomatoes and onions in it. And the flavor is kind of like a vegetable soup. It's very mild. And I can taste the wheat bits in it. These, the white part here. Pretty much though, it's a tomato soup. It also comes with lemon juice to pour on it. You wanna add a little tartness to it. Let's see what that does to it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh yeah. That lemon really mm, tartens it up. Mm. Gives it some bang. Mm. That is nice. Let's try some of the naan in it, huh? How about this? 
Mm, that works too. Mm, that's the way to eat it. Here's a really interesting dish. This is called cuckoo sabis. It is a herb omelet. That's right. This is eggs right here. You know, it comes with pickles, tomatoes, and also you can eat it with naan if you like. Wow, this looks really exotic. <laughs> Let's try it by itself first. Wow, lots of flavors going on there. I taste the egg, I taste the herbs. It's it's a bit on the dry side, but oh goodness, that's delicious. Let's try it with some pickles and some tomatoes together. A Persian omelet. There you can see it. I think I'm tasting maybe spinach in it too. Oh, the herbs and spices in it are just fabulous. Got quite a bit of flavor. You know, it is nice with the pickles. Let's do the full course here. Pickle, tomato, and naan. So we've got a herb omelet sandwich going on here. <laughs> oh, we're happy, happy. I feel like I've traveled to Iran, but we're in Tokyo. Mm. It's good any way you eat it. You eat it by itself, it's delicious. You eat it with the pickles and the tomatoes, it's delicious. You add the naan, it's delicious. It's just, any way you do it, it's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To drink, we're having lemon beer. Cheers. Oh, that's tasty. Just a hint of lemon, actually. It's not overpowering. It's pretty refreshing. <sighs> that's a good beer. It's not Persian. This is from Italy. Because they don't really have beer in Iran, as far as I know. Alrighty, the main dish has arrived. Look at this kebab plate, mixed kebab plate. We've got beef right here in the front. It's chicken there, served with buttered rice there. And then this is the lamb meat. Get these beautiful tomatoes over here. Yeah, and then you've got the pickles over on this side with lemon. This is a gorgeous looking dish. Where do we start? We'll start with the lamb meat, shall we? Oh, look at that, just poking into it. It's really, really soft. Look at that. Wowzers. Have some of the rice with this. You don't need a knife to cut it, it's so tender. Look at that. All right, just the meat by itself. Whoa, that looks really good. Oh, it's juicy. Mm -hmm. It kind of reminds me of Spam. Mm. It's a very simple meat. Long grain rice, look at these. Super long grain, like double the size of Japanese. Okay, we'll try it with some pickles. Mm. They just brought some yogurt sauce here. You can put this on the meat. Next up, let's try the beef here. 
beef kebab. Oh yeah. This looks pretty well done, doesn't it? Let's dip it in here, shall we? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's smoky. Smoky, smoky. I like the yogurt sauce. This is nice. Oh yeah. Mm. This is some nice steak right here in the yogurt sauce. We've got some onions, some pickles. This is pretty nice too. Maybe some chives. I like that a lot. Just put it here so we can dip into it. Cucumbers as well too in there. Get in here for some chicken. Let's try it by itself first before we put on the sauce. Mm. The chicken is dry and smoky. Mm -hmm. It's got maybe a lemon flavoring to it. Let's dress it up here with the yogurt. This will moisten it up a little bit. Oh yeah, look at that giant piece of chicken. She's kebab time. Mm. It's a kebab party. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Don't forget the tomatoes. Oh, juicy stewed tomatoes. Mm. Oh, so good. Mmm, mm. this is fabulous food. This is a treat today. Yes. This next dish is a carafe stew or a lamb and celery stew. Looks pretty tasty. Oh, yeah. I can smell the celery. Yeah, celery is so nice in a stew. Make sure we get some of both there. There we go. Mm. Whoa. Stewed lamb meat is so nice. I like this much better than the kebab. It's, wow. Yeah, it's definitely a higher grade of lamb. Mm. Oh, so soft and chewy. Mm. This is fabulous. And it's in a real like light soup stock, like a vegetable soup. Mm-hmm. This dish is called Gorm Sabis, and this is a red bean soup. Mm -hmm. You see the red beans right here? Yeah, yeah they are, the red beans. And this also has the mutton as well, too. Yeah. And there we go. This one's quite a bit thicker than the last one. Oh, yeah. Love that dark color going in. Ooh. Lots more flavor here. Oh. Mm. This one's more tangy. Definitely a thicker sauce, like a gravy. Wow, it's good. Mm hmm. Those beans are nice and soft, tasty. Mm. It's got a tartness to it. This is delicious. Mm. Mm. Did I call this a soup in the beginning? This is not soup. This is a stew. Definitely a stew. Yep. Fabulous. All right. We are finishing off here with a beautiful ice cream drink. 
No, we're not gonna be able to drink it, but this is handmade here at the restaurant. It's got a saffron mixed into it, and it's very, very creamy with fresh cream. Yes, it looks fabulous. And on the bottom is sherbet. So, let's get into it. You gotta love the spoon and the glass. Do we love the ice cream? He says it's the only ice cream of its kind in all of Japan. So here we go. Saffron ice cream. It does taste like saffron. It's like eating saffron rice. Wow, it's pretty good. It's chunky and then it's creamy and smooth at the same time. Mm. There's a crunchiness to it. Oh my goodness, I've never had the consistency like this. It's hard to describe, it's a, it's a crunchy ice cream. It's crunchy and creamy mixed together. But I guess that's the fresh cream, huh? Mmm. Oh, lovely. Vanilla. Let's get down to the bottom here. This is the sherbet. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, sweet. Very sugary. Very, very sugary. And this one, you can add lemon juice to the top if you like. So you get a sweet and sour thing going on. Okay, let's try it. Sweet and sour sherbet. Wow. Oh, wow. Sweet. Sweet and sour together with ice cream. <laughs> Try that sometime, guys. Put some, put some pure lemon juice on your ice cream. It's a treat. We're gonna finish this meal with some cinnamon flour tea. It smells very herbal. Yes. How does it taste? Ooh, that's very soothing going down the throat. It was very herbal. Just a hint of cinnamon, actually. It's very kind of sweet. Not sweet, but it tastes like popuri. Popuri. It's very, very, very flower, flowery, very herbal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, goodness. It's a good tea. So, there it was. The food from Iran, Persian cuisine. What did you guys think? It was a treat. I really, really enjoyed this meal. Mm hmm. Yep, so on my rating scale between one and six, Eric surfboards. I think I'm gonna go five today, five out of six. The food is, it's a little bit on the spicy side, but it's not hot. And I just, I like all the herbs that come with it. It's interesting, everything's got a different kind of smell and flavor to it. It's very interesting eats. Yeah, every dish was good. Mm -hmm. So that's gonna do it for me. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, I look forward to reading your comments. We shall see you in the next one. Hey, thanks for making it all the way to my end screen. So now what? Well, click around, watch a few more videos. How about checking out my Patreon account? Links are all right there on the screen. Cheers and beers, team, get some.